Welcome, dear friends, to Kardec Radio and to the Spiritist Out of Virginia. Yes, this is our moment, our inspirational talk. It's that day, visualize our center. We miss it so much, right? Let us visualize it as if we were there. And that's what we want to tell you. This moment, it's like when you go to the center. God is allowing us and also asking us to bring that sacredness to our homes. I know that when we are home, it's so hard to sit still and to do only this. But if we don't, we're not going to benefit from it. So it's important to practice this stillness. I know we want to browse and do 10,000 things, but that's a moment for our spiritual strengthening, spiritual nourishment, spiritual hygiene. We already see some comments by wonderful friends coming in. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Stella. Keep coming, friends, and feel free to ask questions, make comments, of course, that pertain to it all. And we'll be here with you. Today we have a special, special program because we have a guest, our friend Steven Bertozzo. But before we open the studio to bring him in, we want to invite you to a prayer. Of course, right? Let us pray together. And I'm going to put some music because it helps us feel the good, as Emilio says, okay? Let us visualize right now. Master Jesus with us, the doctor of all doctors, with his loving smile, open embrace. We visualize Jesus with us. Hoping that we can calibrate ourselves in the waters of his loving light. But most of all, we would like to dedicate this program, this special meeting, to those who discarnated all of a sudden for whatever reason. No time to say goodbye, even if temporary. We pray for them. We pray that they feel the loving hands of loved ones from the beyond, caring for them with immense love. And we pray for their families who are adjusting themselves to the surprising news. Master, you've taught us the total surrender to God, but we don't know that yet. But we can feel that the designs of God are always the best. Please help us adjust ourselves to God's designs, to his will, seeking the good in the midst of our difficulties. And we pray that this session be deeply nourishing, strengthening, and that our whole team here and in our children's session be strengthened to fulfill your plans of love, sharing the beauty of spiritism. And may especially our dear friend and guest, Stephen Bertozzo, 
feel especially inspired to lead us into greater and deeper understanding of the purpose of our lives. Feeling your guidance, dear Master, in your protection. We ask for your permission to begin our session tonight, and so be it. What a joy! Hello, Stella. Thank you so much. Michelle and me are here with us. Nora Brazil and many more friends. Keep coming because before Stephen comes, it's like a suspense. He's here, but almost with all of us. Paloma, our dear Paloma is going to share one treasure, a pearl from the Spirit's book. Right, Paloma. Yes. Hello, everyone. Let me share with you. Here we go. So we are having the spirit, what we're calling the spirit's book moment. And this a moment for us to go back to the core of spiritism. So if you don't have the spirit's book, go get it. Because you cannot understand spiritism if you don't go to the foundational books. And it's a teaser for us. It's a moment of reflection. And the question we chose today, inspired by the good spirits, is question 895. And Kardec asked, besides the defects and vices about which no one can be mistaken, what is the most characteristic sign of imperfection? So we've studied in prior weeks you know, what were characteristics of being evolving? And they said selflessness, you know, that is the characteristic. And he's saying, okay, what is the biggest one of imperfection? Let us see what the good spirits brings to us. Not a surprise, we hear this all the time, self-centeredness, period. That's the answer. And they go to explain. Moral qualities many times do not stand up when put to the test, like copper gilding that cannot withstand the test of the touchstone. Are evolving spiritual beings. This material body is not what's going to survive, you know, going forward. It is our spirit. So we need to understand that and leave materialism behind us. Through selflessness, however, they show that they see the future from a more evolved point of view. Now, these are higher spirits telling us. They are giving us the pathway. We work on it, friends. We don't, you know, feel shame or guilt as we are all on the same pathway to less materialism, to be more selfless. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you, Paloma, for this moment so precious. And now we're going to invite our other friend. He comes from far away, not so far, because now we're <laughs> just next to each other. Right, Steven? Welcome. Yeah. Greetings from Ireland. How are you, Vanessa? Hi. Wow. Mm -hmm. We shortened the distance. Welcome here to the Spirit Side of Virginia and Cardiac Radio again, because now... Yeah, we're here with us every Tuesday and Thursday in this beautiful collaboration. Exactly. Right? You open up the bridge between Ireland and the US. So you're the man, you're the man. The bridge again. Yes. So I want to share with everybody that uh, I first met you in 2010. Yeah. When you were visiting the the first moments, I say the first uh, year of the Spiritual Society of Ireland. Yeah, if, yeah. The first year, because I, I I arrived in Ireland in two thousand nine, so it's yeah. it's it's about a new year. Yes, and yeah. it's beautiful. It has grown so much, right? You want to tell a little bit about it, Stephen? Yeah, we do have our uh, meetings, study meetings, and 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 also the uh, the speech every Sunday. 
uh, we have about 100 people. And what the beauty of this is we, we not only have Brazilian, but we do have Germans, Italians, French, Spaniards, Americans, you know, and Japanese, Chinese. Wow. Yeah, we do have a, a girl with uh, the spirits book in Chinese. So, oh, wow. so and that's because you do everything in English. So yes, yes. Well, our meetings are in English. Ten uh, thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, 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 a, as, a, as a promise. Not only thumbs, all the fingers and the hands up. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Yeah, everything is in English here. Uh, it's it's good for us because uh, it's not only adapt ourselves to the uh, spiritism in English, because I learn spiritism in Portuguese, but it's it's adapt to the European culture as well. Mm -hmm. So it's it's I know Spirit is born in France, my mm -hmm. doorstep here. Mm -hmm. But uh, we needed to we need to do a lot of efforts in order to reach the European culture in terms of talking about spiritism. Yes. Yeah, it's, and then this is this is difficult for any, I would say. Brazilians, any people from Latin country countries, it's very difficult. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's a work in progress. Yes, but congratulations and uh, it's beautiful. Plus, we want to share that you have been deeply involved in the European movement mostly, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have, once a month, you guys are gathering together to do like a, a meeting all in English. You want to tell a little bit because we're going to stream. Yeah. This, this, this is a, a group. Uh, the head of the group is our dear friend Pekka from Finland. And uh, he came up with idea to bring spiritism, uh, especially to those one who doesn't know anything about the spiritism and it doesn't have, didn't have any contact with Brazilians or, 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 or the, the, the teachings itself. Uh, and Pekka said, okay, let's do something here. And he invited this group. So he's, he's entirely European mentality. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying it's different <laughs> because mm -hmm. he has his own way to organize, own way to do things. So I am a, 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 just a helper there. Uh, but uh, we do have people from Romania, from Poland, from Eastern European. And uh, I am amazed because how many groups we can, we know they are, they are sharing books. They do virtual meeting. So, and now we have people from Germany and also Spain. So it's, in, it's a meeting in English. We wish to have this meeting like in Esperanto, mm. but uh, I think we're not there yet, unfortunately. You know, but one day, one day we will we will reach that level. Uh, but we do this meeting in English uh, every last Saturday of the month. So every last Saturday of the month. Uh, at 7 p.m. Uh, uh, London time, mm -hmm. which is 3, 2.15 uh, Easter time. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Great. And uh, we, we just start with a greetings, then we have a short uh, a presentation, and then is discussion. Discussion about what's the spirit movement in, in, in the country of that the person, what need to do, what they need. It, it's it's a one way of exchange. It's not something we need to give to them and say, oh, that's this is the recipe. We are not, not doing this. We're just sharing knowledge and they need to apply as they they as it fits well for them. Okay, beautiful. By the way, your mom is Sylvia LaRocca? 
Yeah, my mom. Yeah, she's here. She's here. <laughs> Now you can begin. The mom is yeah. here. This mom is so good when we have this connection. And she says yeah. she studied Esperanto. Wow. Yeah, she said she studied. Yeah. But yeah. you know, to go to Esperanto, we have to do it English first. Step, well, right? Each step at a time. Yes, English is easy, friends. Embrace it and talk about moving on because, you know, when you say you have to rid yourself of your cultural attachments to really embrace the new culture and breathe spiritism into that, you're talking about moving on, right? We can't be stuck in old patterns or conditionings, right? Yeah, yeah. So you need, you need to... You need to be detached from some values, and this—that's the, the the theme today. Like the art of movement, because it's an art. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean we we always do the right thing, mm -hmm. but, but at least we are trying. Yes, Stephen. I I know people. We need this thing today. So many things are happening in the world nowadays. Mm -hmm. the transition, people coming and going, coming and going, and we don't know, like some countries are reopening, other states are reopening. Now it's all these things, and we are learning to be so detached and learn to go with the flow. So I think Spiritism has a beautiful message, and I know you prepared a beautiful study to share. I will I'll ask you to please lead the way, okay? Okay, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay. Okay, so once again, thank you all for for your time and allow me to to be in your home, in your car, uh, in your in your office. So uh, the art of move on and. I'd like to start with uh, two paragraphs from a book called Christian Agenda. It is a book di dictated by uh, André Luiz the Spirit and to uh, the medium uh, Chico Xavier. Okay? And the first message is, render your faithful devotion to peace. But remember that we will never experience tranquility without first giving peace to those who cross your path. Okay? So, in other words, you will want you want to have peace without giving peace. And the second sentence here. Oops, too much. Yeah. Cherish solidarity. You would not be able to live without others, although in the majority of the cases can live without you. So, unfortunately, you are not important as you think you are. Some people can live without you. And these two senses will, will guide our talk today and try to understand uh, how we should move on. Okay, so fasten your seatbelt and let's go to our right. So what is the greatest obstacle to moral progress? This is a question 785 from the Spirit's book. And Kardec asked to the Spirit's that question. What is the greatest obstacle to moral progress? And the answer was very simple. Very, very simple. Pride and selfishness. That's it. Just to these simple words, It's blocking, it's causing a lot of trouble, a lot of problems in our lives, in our uh, particular lives, uh, professional lives. So, selfishness and pride. 
when we put me and the others, when I don't give the peace or at least emphasize the, the forgiveness, when I think, oh, they don't live without me, I am, I, I am so important cause this. And just to tell you that the, the intellectual progress is always occurring. So you, you intellectual progress, you don't have any barrier because we need to learn every time, okay? So, and the question is why? Why we need to evolve? Why we need to pass off to all these problems? Why we need move forward? Okay, and uh, then I ask help from the Spirit's book again on question 365. A spirit advice slowly. A spirit advances slowly, but this progress does not take place in all direction, our directions simultaneously. It may advance intellectually at one point and morally at another. So, Sometimes we have the intellectual progress, the other times we have the moral progress, and sometimes we need to apply both. Okay? And uh, also, uh, there is a difference between being and doing. And most of people have placed their emphasis on later. This was in the Conversations with God by Neil D. Walsh. So, being intellectual, doing moral. Okay? So, that is a difference. And uh, let me walk you through this. Doing is a function of the body. Okay, I'm going to read a book. You read, you read that book. You acquire knowledge. Okay, and okay, you do have this. Being is a function of the soul. The body is always doing something. Every minute of every day, it's up to something. The soul is forever being. It's being what is being regardless of what the body is doing. If you think your life is about doing this, you do not understand what you are about. Your soul cares only about what you are being while you are doing whatever you are doing. I can read a book right now, but I can thinking, oh, I'm, I need to buy my shopping list for tomorrow. You can do a presentation like I'm doing right now. I'm here. But my mind should be what I want to eat. And the art of moving on is put these two pieces at the same place, same time. Okay, I hope you are with me. So, how it conducted? Then we have our life. Experience lived and not lived make people less foolish. I show you something. That is a song. Uh, if you want to write, if you know who who wrote that song. Put this in the comments, but the the, the 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 lyrics comes like regrets. I've made had a few, but the but then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do, and saw it through without exemption. I planned each chartered course, each careful step along the byway, and more. 
much more than this, I did it my way. It's, it's so profound, so beautiful. Because we have our own way. We don't have a recipe. Yeah, very good. Yeah, very good, guys. Frank Sinatra. Yeah, the, 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 the song calls My Way. Exactly. So, uh, we, we need to understand that that is not right or wrong. Perhaps what works for me will not work for you. And we need to understand we waste time not making others happy, being unhappy, and make our life a torment. And we often use a mask. Which mask is this? Hey, Stefan, how are you? I'm great. I'm so great. I'm, everything is fine. But my life is a mess. If you ask that questions to any person who surround me, they say, oh, Stephen, no way. Run away from this guy. But we use a mask and we need to drop this mask. We need to be ourselves. We need to regret sometimes. We need to, uh, 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 like the, the song said here, but, uh, I had a few, uh, I, I, I regret a few times, uh, but too few to mention. So it's normal, it's easy. So we need to fail in order to grow okay so uh, like like this guy here so of tarsus is not poet yet but he was close to the damascus gate and he fell out of his horse and jesus appeared to him and asking him why he was persecuting and so didn't ask uh, uh, what I have to do, or he, he asked Jesus, what do you want me to do? At the moment, he said, I'm leaving my past in the past. And I'm leaving, I am a new person from now. Our past is a good place to visit, but definitely not a good place to live. The present built the future. So, just pay attention to what he said to Jesus. He asked Jesus, what uh, you need me to do? What do you want me to do? And he didn't say, oh, I cannot go because I was persecuting the, 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 uh, the other Christians. I, I killed Stephen. I, I, Stephen, I did this, I did that. He was not there excusing himself. He said, okay, I did my wrong thing. What I need to do to move on. And my question to you is, are you ready to move on? So, what, what we need to, to understand is we sow freely, but the harvest is on us. So you can ask me, but I do have my free will. Yes, you do have your free will. That's why you can sow freely, but the harvest, it's you. You are the one who going to answer for your actions. Law of action and reaction, it's, it's impeccable. We will always apply to us everywhere, anywhere. We need to be sure that if you want a better future, 
You need to be a better person today, not tomorrow. And again, the past is a good place to visit, to understand, to see, oh, I did that wrong. I, I need to fix this. I need to fix that. And again, this is something you need to try, but we don't know if you will succeed or not. If you fail, shake the dust, move on. Okay? So, what sh should we do? What should we do? It's a good question because this is, I would say, this is the one billion answer question. And I would say to you, there is no should or should not involved. There is no should or should not involved. There is only what you choose and how you can have it. Slow down. Everything has their own moment. However, my friends, never giving up. The best advice given by an older person to a young guy was become old. This is the best advice we have. Become old. And this point we have our free will. You are free to make your choices. Not a question. But when you make your choices is based in the knowledge you have right now, this moment. Okay? So for you, it's June 26. So up what you have lived up to 0626, you can make a decision, a choice. I will do this. Full stop. But let's travel in a time, and we are now in the year 2000, 2030. So you lived more years, you experience more time, and then you are making a, a you, you are revisiting some decisions, and you remember, oh, that decision I made on June 26, 2020, or 10 years ago, I think I should think that different. But in 2020, your decision was right, because that decision was based in what you lived, in the experience you have lived. So, my friends, the beauty is there is no right, there is no wrong. There is, it is a question of experience. Human beings cannot remain unaware forever. Uh, because Why? The reason is because we need to reach a, a, a goal. God said, uh, I need to reach a goal. Okay. And circum circumstances enlighten them gradually. Moral revolutions social revolutions uh, were introduced into our minds in, in slow paces. And we keep evolving by the centuries. Okay? So we need to find the balance, the harmony. Okay? Uh, I would say to you, one of the biggest roadblocks for example, here in, in, in Europe, uh, we do have is the Crusades. Oh, but Stephen, the Crusades was, I, I'm sorry, I don't know the date, but years, years ago. And it still applies. Yeah, it still applies. Unfortunately, they kill in name of Jesus. They kill in name of God. 
they divert the message. We, when we read like Poe of Tarsus, when we read Bible, the Bible, when we read, when we understand, when we study the, 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 the first uh, uh, apostles from the, I would say, first century or something like this, to second century, we changed everything. We humanize everything. Then we need to live with that and we need to fix that. So that's why we are here, not to fix, but at least to try to, to prepare the path for perhaps somebody in the future comes and give a better better device to you guys. And uh, we are not in a position to, to tell you what's right, what's wrong. We are just here to share experience and, and live together. If you cry, let's, let's cry together. If you smile, let's smile together. So, uh, what more we have here? We shall move on, overcoming obstacles, acquiring and recognizing responsibilities and practice the forgiveness. Then I need to call your attention for one thing. Prayer, our Father. Okay? Uh, given by Matthew on 6.14. It's the first time Jesus, he stopped and he explained why. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. And hello, to forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover the prisoner was you. Because when you harm someone, it's your problem. When someone harming you, it's their problem. But no, we want to keep this inside with us. We, 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 we have a pleasure to remember, oh, I, he did that. And, and you are creating that, that problem inside of you. And you don't want to get free. Because it's your baby. You feed, you give water. It's your baby. You don't want to. You need that. But you are the prisoner. Please, when I'm saying forgive, you not just get a razor and wipe out everything and say, hey, I'm, I forgive you. No. Forgive, you still will remember what happened. Of course. But if you, at the time when you remember that episode, feel less, uh, become less angry, you are walking towards the right path. But if you are still said, oh, I forgive her, I forgave her, see how I am a, mer a merciful person. But when that person, oh, what, what, she, what she or he did to you and you give the details. And when you more you you're saying more you give an emphasis in what the person did to you, sorry, you didn't forgive anybody. And again, if you screw up and you come to someone and ask for forgiveness, and that person do not forgive you. At that moment, it's not your problem anymore. It's that person's problem. 
because you recognized. You raise your hand and say, hey, I'm here. I screw up. I did something wrong. I'm so sorry. Let me compensate. Let me work with you. Let me do something here. Let's, let's go together. But it's up to you. Okay. So there is a regular slow progress that inevitably results from circumstance. But when a population does not advance quickly enough, God even creates a physical or moral shock that hastens its transformation. Question 783. Ring the, did, did you ring the bell? Something we start with the letter C and finish with a number, 19. So, guys, we need to advance. We are not advancing quickly enough. We have seen some solidarities episodes. We have seen some fraternity. Yes, a lot. More than we used to have. But it was just see the mass, how we are. And we are in the middle of this. We need to survive. How to survive? With love, fraternity, solidarity. That's the, our goal. Okay, let's move on. So, how to change? Okay, we have seen. I need to forgive. Okay, Stephen, you gave me this. I needed to, to, I know I can, people leave without me. I am not important as I think I am. Uh, how to change it? Then we call our friend, Oh, of Tarsus now, not so of Tarsus anymore. And what Paul is helping us to in this moment? He said, Brothers, as for me, I do not consider myself as having already reached perfection. If he didn't, I am so far away from that. But one thing I do, I have forgotten the things I left behind, and I go forward to those that lie ahead. So, again, past is in the past. We need to change our attitudes, we need to change our habits and behaviors. It's something cyclical. Attitude and behavior, attitude and behavior. It's a, of course, we want always a win-win game, but sometimes you win, lose, 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 win. We need, we need to try. The balance in life is to change what can be changed, accept that what cannot yet be changed, but will be. In other words, is if you can change this, change it. If you cannot change, it will gonna be changed someday. Perhaps not the right moment. We need to accept. If you didn't have that job yet, it's perhaps it's not a right time for you to have it. This explains also. Uh, we see this commonly in the spiritism. A lot of people go and look for the mediums. Oh, I have cancer, I have this, I have that disease. And they look for doctors, uh, spiritual doctors to cure them. Of course they want to, to cure. Of course. But that person need to go 
to that trial. Before reincarnated, that person said, okay, I need to get the full, the full episode. That's why. When Jesus did the miracles, when he cured someone, he always said, your faith cure you. And another question he asked, do you want, when, when someone said, do you want? Yes, I want. Like, like the episode when he cured the, 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 the blind guy. Okay? That's the perfect example here. The blind guy was listening. He, Jesus was passing by. It's not the blind guy, sorry. It's the guy uh, uh, who didn't walk. He has problems in his legs. Uh, he born with that way. So he, he started to scream. He screamed so loud, people were saying, no, don't, don't scream, don't scream, don't scream. And he, as much as people are saying him to stop to scream, he screamed louder. Until called the attention of Jesus. And Jesus came to him and said, what do you want? And the answer was straightforward. I want to walk. And Jesus said, so do I. And he walked. Let's say this, if Jesus pop up in front of you right now and you, and he asks you, what do you want? Are you ready to answer that question? Are you ready to walk again? Do you know what you want? Oh God, it's, it's a question we need to ask to ourselves. And now I'm going to my uh, last slide here. When we say, where is the secret to move on? And this we will find in the book, Minutes of Wisdom. Have faith in yourself because God is within you. Therefore, to have faith in oneself is to have faith in God. Have confidence in your abilities and walk without fear of obstacles. You can win. You will win. Harmonize yourself with the trust that God has placed in you. He gave you all the capabilities for you to develop and put it into practice. Yeah, thank you, Vanessa. Yes, the book is from Carlos Torres Pastorino. Yeah. So, you don't have a burden heavier, heavier than, than you can carry. No, no, nobody have. You are facing a problem. You do have capacity to overcome it. Try different. Rethink. Change your habits. That's what you have to do. That's what we need to do. Again, that is not should or should not. That is only attitudes. Change your attitude. And read Kardec. And you will see a lot of devices, examples, how to apply it in your life. That's it for me. Thank you. Thank you all. Wow, we love it. You will win. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> yeah, Pastor, you will win.
Yes, and you're right. It's hard. It's a journey for all of us. Today, Stephen, I was talking to somebody who had a tough childhood. And she said, I'm not sure I'll be able to overcome this. And then we remembered this sentence, you will win. We will win, right? Yeah. So in spite of it all, we will win. I know there are people here who are watching us and maybe meditating, asking questions to themselves, whether it's really possible or not. Because, you know, Stephen, you have an adorable mom. You could We could tell because she's here. <laughs> she's a big fan of yours. Not everybody has the same opportunity. And sometimes people are raised in a way that they don't believe in themselves. Because yeah. they were told. They were told that they are not going to amount to anything. What would you tell them? Well, my 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 question to that person is: Do you love yourself? How can you rely your happiness in someone's hands? So you need to love yourself. Is the is the, is the lesson number one? So, and you need if you don't feel you have uh, power to overcome, it means you don't believe in yourself. You need to, you need to, to shake the dust again. <laughs> you need to shake the dust and move on. Mm -hmm. And how you're going to do it? Just try. Do something different. Just if you are going to write, please take the left. <laughs> what are you going to lose? If taking the right always you are, you are unsuccessful, take the left. Yeah. So it's it's again we need to try. That's the balance. Try, win, happy, great, fail, take another decision, move on. And that's the beauty, right, Stephen? Because. When we see the message of the good news that comes from Jesus, he doesn't talk about loving, but he shows it to us before he comes, when he is here in the flesh, and after he goes, because you said about Paul of Tarsus. He relied his dissemination, the dissemination of all these teachings, on the hands of somebody who made a big mistake, huge, huge. And we're not judging, but it's huge. It's about killing people. It's huge. Yeah. yeah. And yet, started with him. Yeah. And Jesus comes to him and says, come. And invests on him in such a way that shows, that allows him to become Paul of Tarsus. And we have in his letters the foundation, the base of this, the Christianism. You know, because we're, we're Christians. Christians, we know, we, we started in, by by Luke gave this, but that's what Jesus was saying: love. He's pure love. That's the word, and we don't love each other. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, I'm not saying here we need to wear a mask or do not wear a mask, but when you do everything you can to protect yourself and your neighbor, you are doing the right thing. You're talking about the coronavirus? Yeah, yeah we're talking about that. that <laughs> happen, yeah, that, that's, that's what is happening now. Yeah, yeah, that's what is happening now. So uh, uh, you think, oh, I not wear a mask, I don't need you. Okay, you don't need, but does your neighbor need, need it? Yeah. No, yeah. like when you love is like you are, you are, you love someone, but that person don't don't love you. Mm -hmm. She or he doesn't love you. 
if you really love that person, you will do everything you could to make that person happen with or without you. If it's with you, you won the lottery. Yeah. If it's without you, you really love that person because you let them go and that person is happy. And one day in the future, we are destined to meet again. Yeah. Right. And our paths, our paths will cross again and we will be together. Yeah. But you love that person. You respect that person. Yeah. It's beautiful. Like your job is not good. No problem. Change it. But no, you want to <laughs> your boss be fired. You want your <laughs> company. Yeah, yeah, you know. But you don't change the job. Yeah. You're right. Again, you are not happy with the job. You do everything to fire your, your colleague, to fire your boss. You, you do everything because you still don't like your job. So I, when I said go take the left or right, you know, perhaps going to the left pathway is change your job. But you know, Stephen, what you're talking about takes the adult in us. And I'll say something that this morning I was talking to Virginia, said, you know, Virginia, there are some parents who have to work. And I've met people today. I was talking to a few people and some of them said, I still haven't overcome my pain for not being raised by my mom because my mom was always working so hard. And we had a babysitter and this person is having such a struggle to deal with it. And I was telling this to Virginia, I said, you see, we need to pray. There are many people who are suffering. And then she said, maybe she should find another mom. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I cannot say Virginia is wrong. <laughs> but you see, exactly. So it's a way out. But when you can't, because you, you have that mom and that's it, I said, you know, as you said during this. Maybe the way out is forgiving. Yeah. And understanding. And again, the beginning of the presentation when I said uh, the best advice another person can give to a young person is become old. Mm. Because you'll be mature to understand, to see with different eyes. To put away perhaps your selfness, your pride, and do things different. Yeah. I, I want to bring Luciana and Paloma too to our conversation as we march towards the end because yeah. it's such a beautiful topic, right, Luciana and Paloma? Y you want to bring some highlights as well and or even yes. more questions to Stephen. The the slide that stuck to me, Stephen, was the the pride and you know selfishness because it was so beautiful. You put the two pictures there and it stuck to my mind already that <laughs> on the art of moving on, it I think it requires us to not focus on our ego because that's forgiveness. You have to be willing to let it go and it's we are willing, I am willing to move on. It is not the other person because the other person might be done or the, you know, an event in the past that it's been gone for a long time. Sometimes past lives that are still with us, even though we don't remember, we are still acting in the same old stuff that we didn't let go because we're still so prideful. So that was my take out of this is for us to to move on we need to let ourselves be smaller mm. and we will find happiness it, we, we get stuck in our ways it's not worth it exactly yeah yeah Paloma. that's a beautiful highlight big yeah it's like 
It's like to explain to a blinding person the, the color blue. Yeah. How are you going to do it? It's hard. It's, life. it's, hard. it's difficult. We it's ask difficult. the good spirits. <laughs> hard questions, yeah. only the good spirits. <laughs> That's why sometimes we need to give up and say, hey, I'm done here. <laughs> no? <laughs> and then then we comes the, the, the prayers, the meditation, the, the, the self-awareness. So we need to, to enlighten ourselves, read good books, read Kardec. Hmm. Perhaps the answer for all your questions, how to explain a uh, color blue for a blind person, it's already there. But, oh, I don't have time. But bless, we do have Kardec radio. You don't need time to read. You just turn on your radio and listen. Yes. Yeah. And perhaps when you turn on your radio, someone is doing a prayer or talking about a topic that you need the device at that time. Yeah. So, again, that is no secret sauce. The secret sauce is just keep trying, not give up. Beautiful, beautiful. Luciana, a highlight. Yeah, it's like we need to start seeing the opportunities that life is bringing to us, right? Because... There's a lot of difficult situations in our life that's coming up, but we never need to remember that God never give it to us more than we can handle. Everything is provided to us. So we need to see in the eyes that everything is an opportunity and I need to reflect, learn about myself and make a responsible uh, uh, choice in which direction I'm going to take my life. Because we need to remember to value all the te teachings that Master Jesus taught us. Because the value that Master Jesus gave to us is the one that we're going to take for life. And with his teaching, we are going to be able to be detached and keep mm -hmm. moving on and aprimorizing, being more mature as time goes by, as Stephen said, with time, everything it comes into place. So time is a great uh, measurement or is a great uh, gift that God gives to us because with time, we're going to be mature. We'll know more about ourselves and we'll be responsible and moving on with everything in our past and becoming better spirits in the future. Yeah. 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 We have to. It's like it's like when when you overcome any barrier. The feeling you have after this it's amazing. So Also, the, yes, a comment. And our invisible company can learn with us too, listening to Kardec Radio, reading a book, we're never alone. And that's a beautiful take, right? That's a beautiful take. Exactly. That is not only for us, and it's so right when we are focusing on the good, trying right, left, any other, like, as you said, right, Stephen? Mm -hmm. You have tried the right, then it didn't work. Go to the left. <laughs> and, and again, you are you're gonna be the example for the incarnated and for the discarnated ones. So perhaps that invisible company who are with you seeing what they is doing, and you give a good example. You show uh, you are you're persuading your way. You don't give up. You have bad moments, but you do have. Uh, happy moments, you can be an example for this invisible company as well. So everything starts with us. I don't want to use the cliche, if you want to change the world, change yourself, but 
It's true. No, way. <laughs> no, don't see any other way. True. It's true. And especially nowadays, because of uh, social media, we're like a click away from the rest of the world. Anything can really go throughout the world so quickly. We have to be extra more vigilant, more vigilant, because whatever we do now is ever more impacting in the world. So really, if we change, we can change the world. And this is a teaser, since we're talking about moving on, changes. There is one uh, teaser here, it's homework. Homework. Beginning, after everything Steven said, let's begin, and it matches what Paloma brought at the very beginning on the Spirits book. Yeah. Right? It matches because of the attachments, detachments, past. In, uh, when we had the two weeks ago, A.G. Stewart coming here talking about attachments and detachments. There is a series on Netflix named Tidying Up by Mary Kondo. Okay. Apparently, it's all about tidying up your drawers, your cabinets and everything. But it's much more than that. When we are incarnated... By doing this tidying up in the physical, we're expanding also to the spiritual. So that's a good exercise to let go and to see what you don't need, materially speaking. And from that to emotions and spiritual attachments, steps. So some people ask us, Stephen, Luciana and Paloma, where do I begin? Begin where it's visible to you. Yeah. Or if you don't know how to begin, tidy up your house. Go and wash your car. Go do something. But don't be stuck waiting for a light come down and say, oh, my dear friend, you need to do this. So you don't know what to do. Tied up. Go to do your volunteer work. Yes. Go to work. Do something, but move on. The energy needs to flow. Beautiful. And by the way, talking about charitable work tomorrow for those who are in the greater Washington, D.C. area, the food drive. Yay. Food drive and a prayer. It's beautiful sure. with masks. Masks. But our, our team is great. I mean, the whole community. Nobody has ever come without a mask, but come, come, because it's not only about the food, which, by the way, we're delivering to so many places. It's beautiful partnership, but it's about praying together so we can help more in this world. So, Stephen, yeah. we wish we could stay with you, but for those who want more, as John DeRosa said, I'm going to rescue his comment because it's you. And two other friends, they are adorable. You call yourself the spiriteers? Well, they, they call us the three spiriteers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great program. Yeah. So every Tuesday, every Thursday, Tuesday and Thursdays here at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Time at Cardiac Radio, we have the joy of following these programs and um, to yeah. learning more in a very um, easy way. Yeah, right? we do We do always have a guest, but when we don't have a guest, like myself and two other uh, people from the group, like Vanderlei, usually it's Vanderlei and, and Rodrigo, we we have no, no talk, you know, just pick one that day and say, hey, let's talk about it, let's, let's discuss, let's see how it goes. And Beautiful. I think that's that that's what we like to do because we want to show that spiritism is as Kadek said it's not a religion. It's mm -hmm. a way to live. Unfortunately, people put the cliche religion. It is that, that is the consequences, as Kadek said. But when you do into the others what you want to do yourself, when you practice charity, if you are not spiritist, 
I'm sorry, you are, because that's that's what we are talking about here. Yeah. Joy to the world. Yeah. Right. That's, that's it. it. Oh. <laughs> okay, Stephen, a big hug. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you very much. That's Thank you. Hour. For it's already more than midnight over there, Mamma Mia. Yeah, it is 1.14 a.m. A big hug to you, to Christiani, to the children. And now we're going to wrap up this meeting as we do in our center. Let's visualize the spirit of Sarah Virginia. If you know the space, if you don't, just visualize your spirit center. And Luciana is going to lead us into the spiritual passes and the prayer. Don't forget, friends, the good spirits. They love us. If you open the door of your house, they'll be there with you. It's not creepy at all because they are wonderful beings. Like, you know, all these wonderful spirits that we hear through Chico Xavier, all these messages by Card through the mediums at Kardec's time. So the spiritual passes, remember, there is one very important attitude. We need to be willing to receive. Surrender to God and the good spirits. They will operate on you. They will bring what you need, your family, your connections. And then the final prayer. Luciana, we are all yours. So let us all close our eyes, dear friends, to receive these blessings. The doctors, nurses, and mentors has been prepared for us throughout this session. Let us breathe in and out, feeling the calm breeze blowing your hair, making you feel fresh. As we feel that we are getting lighter and lighter to make the connection with the good spirits, to open our souls, our hearts, to receive the remedies, the energies, all that we are in need. And as we walk by the ocean. We hear the waves crashing at the beach. And as the wave come closer to us, we throw our grudges, things that are hold us down. And the ocean takes away from us as we let it go of those feelings. And we keep walking in this beautiful shore Letting him go everything that is unnecessary in this journey, in this pathway. And we can see from a distance 
lights coming above the clouds. We see this shining light coming through everything and reaching us. Make us feel the warmth, the healing energy of love on the soul, body, mind. This light is our master Jesus, governor of our planet shining upon us. Healing. And making sure that we are not alone. He's up there with his love team, sending love and vibration to each one of us. And we feel so blessed as we are open to receive all that he has provided to us. We feel that we are new and that we are having a new opportunity to continue our life after this beautiful and energized treatment. We feel the loving and care of the mentors and master, Jesus Christ, sending his healing light upon us. And as we continue receiving this loving embrace, we pray together. Dear Mother, Father God, mentors of the SSVA, Kardec Radio, our loving mentors, thank you so much for being here, guiding us throughout this session with those new teachings and point of view to guide us to how we should proceed in life. We are very grateful for all of these people that were able to connect to us today to receive these blessings. And we pray, dear Master Jesus, Mother Mary, to all our brothers and sisters that are ill, that are in the hospitals or in their home. We also pray for all the families that lost their loved ones. May they feel comfort in yours, in your thoughts, connecting with Master Jesus. We also pray for all of those that has disincarnated. May they feel your light on the other side and receive treatment and help wherever they might be. We also want to pray for all the homes that are being very disturbed by living beings and spiritual beings that wants to 
create chaos in those homes. May you, Master Jesus, send health to those homes so they can feel your love and harmonization in their places so they can better proceed with their lives. We also want to pray for all those families that don't have a place to eat, don't have a place to work, that has lost everything, maybe by fire, maybe for not having incomes. We pray so that you provide them with the help that is necessary. We also want to pray for our community that is striving daily to serve even more you, Master Jesus. May they continue feeling your loving grace and hear your call to serve no matter what type of service. We pray for all children, all parents, and every single one that is incarnated and is incarnated in planet Earth, that they receive your love and your embrace at this moment. And with your permission, Master Jesus, mentors of our house, we would like to close the meeting of tonight. And so be it. Oh my. There I, you go. <laughs> don't want to bother anybody. So, again, thank you, Luciana. Thank you, Paloma. Thank you, Steven. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, all of you who have been with us making this current of light together until next Friday when we begin a beautiful series. With the month of July here at on Fridays at 7 p.m. at Cardiac Radio, we'll be all about talks that lead us to this um, to under, understanding of equality as the whole world is marching literally marching towards bringing equality to another level. A big hug, and until next time. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.